I'm Natalie from Love the City TV, and we're here today with Sean Frank at Festival School in Ontario. Whoop, whoop. How's it going today? How was your show? So awesome. Yeah, it was amazing. I haven't been in Toronto, like I've been in Toronto, but I haven't played in Toronto in probably a year. So to come home and play festival, probably the coolest festival in Toronto, goosebumps. And you know, you did a great job. I was in there for the set and everything. You brought out Delaney Jane, surprised yes. the crowd, and yes. you know, everyone went wild for that. Yeah, yeah, we've been doing this like live kind of set at the end of my sets these days, and I think we're gonna start like extending it because it's like such a awesome, I don't know, it's so much fun for me. Well, that's incredible. We loved it. I mean, you know, further on, everyone else will love it too. Uh, when did you like start DJing and you know producing all these tracks and everything? I was uh, I, w I used to sing in a band actually, and then I was singing on some dance records, and then I kind of just like transitioned into yeah making my own my own like records for fun. It was actually I wasn't really taking it seriously at all, and I caught the ear of a a manager in Toronto, and he was like, man, we should like let's put these records out. I was like, okay, so we started putting records out, and then it. Here we are. You blew up. I know, I remember <laughs> seeing uh, one of your shows. You opened for Dubs in 2014 in Toronto at the Cool House. That's and right. I remember that was the first time I saw you play, and I was like, wow, this guy's incredible. And since then, you've really you know, taken off the charts and everything. And now me and Dubs have a song together called La La Land. It's on the radio and shit. It's crazy. <laughs> Shit's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. I love this city. <laughs> you know, you collaborated with Dubs, and you've done stuff with Delaney Jane, but who would you want to collaborate with next? To be honest, I'm really looking forward to not collaborating. And uh, do, I'm putting out, I have about five records that are my own records um, that I'm ready to put out. And I'm, it's, you know, the first time I'm gonna be doing that proper. Uh, and I'm really excited for that. But I do also have a collab coming up with Steve Aoki um, and another one with the Chainsmokers. Oh, that's so, oh, festival season? Yeah. yeah. Out bangers and we're going. Yeah. Oh man, so is that what we're looking forward to in 2016? Any more major shows or an album or anything? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at EDC uh, next weekend. Um, I'm not sure when this is airing, but I'll, I may have already been at EDC or I'm playing EDC soon. Um, and I've got, yeah, I'm going to Tomorrowland in Belgium. I'm going to be playing that um, and putting out all these records. It's really exciting. Oh, man. Going back to Asia. Wow. Yeah. All over the world and everything, eh? We're doing it. <laughs> Globe trotting. So, like, what's like, your music taste then? Like, what do you play when you're, like, messing around at home with your friends and everything? Um, I just fell in love with this uh, Amber Run song. Yesterday, I don't know. They're a band from the UK. Just stuff that catches my ear. There's a bunch of different stuff. Uh, stuff that's like really lyrically kind of like take you know grabs you. Um, I think everything the Chainsmokers guys have been doing. I've heard some of their next tracks. I actually wrote with them on their next uh, single, um, and everything they've been kind of putting out. I love the vocals and all that stuff. Um, anything with really good like hooks and vocals that you can remember and that you can relate to is kind of what I'm into. Yeah. Um. What's like the craziest, most memorable like show or party that you you know kind of played at? I mean, we dropped La La Land at Ultra Music Festival with Dubs. Um, that was like four months ago, and that was an incredible moment. Um, that that was one of my you know top tens for sure. But also, when we went to Asia um, like four months ago, me and I brought Delaney Jane with me, and we did a couple shows. Uh, like we did, we did like seven shows, but this one show in Indonesia, we dropped our track Heaven, and the crowd from like it was like four thousand people singing Heaven. It was like. We didn't even know the song was like, we, we didn't even know people knew the song and all of a sudden they're singing it. We're like, oh my God, I like filter the music down and they're singing the whole thing. It was incredible. Like, so that, that. It's surreal, eh? You're unexpected. Out of your Toronto and everything. 10,000 miles away everything. across the world, they're singing heaven. It's like, wow, this is wow. something else. You know, you've done your fair share of going around like Ontario. What's your favorite venue that you've had or played at over here? Government. Yeah, well, I love I love the government, but I also love, um, I mean, I love playing the Hoxton. I'm doing the after party tonight. The Hoxton is where I had kind of a little bit of a residency before I was really touring. Um, my heart is always going to be on that stage, you know, and uh, I'm going to be uh, playing there tonight for the after party. There's some great venues, man. There's a venue called uh, Echo Stage in Washington, D.C. It's incredible. New City Gas in Montreal is incredible. Um, but these festivals are honestly the best. Um, if you weren't a producer, what would you be doing right now in your life? I have no clue. <laughs> no back like, no nothing? Or? I wanted to be like, I really wanted to be a pro snowboarder when I was younger, but I definitely wouldn't be doing that because I've like hurt myself way too many times, so definitely not that. Um, I think uh, writing music, producing is the only thing I really love and know how to do or be ha would be happy doing. Yeah, fair enough. And lastly, you know, like, if you have any advice for any upcoming producers or any of your fans, like what would you tell them? I would tell them that even though it seems like sometimes it happens overnight for a lot of people, it really doesn't. Um, you have to wake up every day and like live, sleep, eat, rave, repeat. This, 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 this job, it's a job, it's, it's, a, it's a craft and you have to like hone it in and spend hundreds of hours working on it. And if you're not willing to do that, somebody else will. 
So you got to work really hard and, and love it and own it and find your own identity in it. There you have it. You know, your words of wisdom here from Sean Frank. Thank you so much for coming out and taking the time. Appreciate it so much. <laughs> I love this city.